to the channel. I hope you're doing really, really well. So no break for the wicked as we move straight from the round of 16 to the quarterfinals. As tomorrow we have two quarterfinal matches that we're going to discuss, and we're going to discuss the other two uh, tomorrow after the matches as well. And if you're excited, please do like and share the video. If you like the video in general, please subscribe. Leave me a prediction for tomorrow's action in the comments. And let's get into it. So starting off, we've got Tajikistan taking on Jordan. Uh, I thought both teams played really, really well in round 16 clash. I thought Tajikistan showed a lot of pragmatism, played with heart, should have scored more against UAE. Uh, but now they've got different kind of challenge on, against Jordan. Jordan are a very, very high intensity, even at times a physical team, who like to get the ball to the attackers as quick as possible, Al Tamari who's been, I think, a standout player for Jordan at this AFC Asian Cup. Now, how do I expect this game to go? I think it will be Tajikistan, who will probably look to have more of the possession in this type of game. And I think it will be Jordan, who will be looking to play on the counter with the three quick players they have. Uh, I think both teams feel like this is a golden chance. This is a chance that they might not get in years to make an Asian Cup semi-final. It is a golden ticket for either who can snatch it of the other. Now, I think so far, if you look at it, Tajikistan, I think they have played well. I'm not gonna lie, they haven't. They've been well coached. They do play good football. But the issue is the decision making inside the penalty area and the finishing of this Tajikistan team is sometimes below par, very below par. And I don't think that's on Peter Saget. Peter Saget can only do so much. It's on the players on the pitch. Dilobiov, uh, who I think missed an open goal. I think I, bu I butchered his name, but <laughs> sorry for that. And if you, if if there are any Tajik fans on here, but yeah. So these are some of the things that Tajikistan really, really need to improve in a knockout game. UAE didn't take advantage of it. I mean, they technically did. They took it to penalties, but I think Jordan do have the players to do hurt them. One hundred and ten percent. I think we had this in the World Cup qualifier as well recently, where it ended one one. I think this game could head down a similar pattern. I think Tajikistan will probably create a lot of chances. But I think Jordan is going to have their own threat. And I think it's going to be a first game. A very, very interesting game to watch. I think Jordan are favourites due to the... This is going to be a home game for them. I think Jordan probably won the better atmosphere at this Asian Cup. Created a fantastic atmosphere so far. I think Jordan are favourites personally for me tomorrow. I think if Tajikistan can push them, maybe... You never know. Maybe they're a bit more pragmatic. Get, give Jordan the ball. Try and counter. I think that's my be Tajikistan's best route to win this game. But I still think Jordan are personally my favourites to qualify. I mean, qualify for the semi-finals. Personally, I think they've got just a tad bit too much physicality. And I think they've got those killers in the box. Al Tamri, killer. They've got some good players. And I think they will take their chances. Uh, I think Amota will know. That Jordan are thriving on the counter attacks. I doubt he would want to have the ball as much as they need to. And I think, firstly, this is a very intriguing game because I think this is the matchup I don't think many people saw coming. I didn't see coming. I think Tajikistan, maybe people could have had them in the quarterfinal, but Jordan, pre, pre Asian Cup, didn't look the best. But now, Jordan, they look serious. I think Jordan have been much, much better than what I expected at this Asian Cup. I'm not taking that Bahrain game into any context because that game they just didn't perform to their potential. But if you watch the other two games and the round 16 game, they are a good team. And I think Tajikistan, this is where Peter Sagat's incredible journey at this Asian Cup comes to an end. I think they'll give Jordan a tough match. Maybe this could even go to extra time. But I think it'll be Jordan who'll be making it through to the next round into the semi-finals. And I think whoever they get in the same finals, they could trouble that team as well. So I'm going with a... Well, what scoreline should I go with? I'm going with a 1-0 Jordan. I'm going 1-0 with Jordan here. Jordan get over the line and they will be heading into the next round. Tajikistan, they'll be going home, unfortunately. Now, the good news for Tajikistan fans I've got before we move on to the next game. Kamalov should be back for this game. Or is it three matches? I hope so, because Kamalov was a real threat uh, for them in the... First two games, so he him being back could be crucial, especially if Tajikistan is going to play on the counter because he's super quick. But I think Jordan will have enough personally, and I think Jordan, a bit more experienced, a bit more used to the Asian scene than Tajikistan are. This is Tajikistan's first ever Asian Cup, and I think the nerves might finally show. I think they did really, really well against UAE, but I think UAE just were awful at this Asian Cup, awful. 
And I think Jordan have been playing much, much better than UAE. So I think Jordan will advance. Tajikistan, fantastic journey, but ends in the quarterfinals. Anyway, we move to the other game. We've got Australia taking on South Korea. Now, this one's going to be cagey. I'm telling you for a fact, this one's going to be cagey. Now, it's, I'm ex interested to see what Jürgen Klinsmann does. Does he go with the back to the 4-4-2 or the 4 2 3 one he played? Or does he go with the three at the back? I think he might go with the three at the back. Even though at times players did look uncomfortable, and I think it gave them a solid defensive base. And they didn't let Saudi create much. And I think Australia aren't that great if you give them possession. I think uh, South Korea, of course, should fancy themselves against Australia. I think Australia, look... I think so far they have been below par. Yeah, they made a core final, great stuff. But if you've watched their games, you analyse it closely, they just don't play well. The game against Indonesia, 4-0 looks so flattering to them. Uh, India, against India, India had them 55 minutes and it took a really big error. And then against Syria, also, it just won goal, but they barely created anything through, uh, unless it was set piece and all that. And... Uzbekistan, yeah, they were, that was probably their better game. Australia, I think Graham Arnold, he's a factor. But I think their squad limitations is obvious as well. This Australian team isn't the same Australian team of the past. I don't think they've got that much quality, personally. Uh, they lack in the striker department. Fornioli was tried and he was he stunk it up. I thought personally against Indonesia. Um, Boyle and Boss, I think those two in the wingers position are dangerous. They can do something. That midfield though, Jackson Irvine, yeah, he can score a goal, but what else? The other two, I'm just not impressed with Australia. They miss Aaron Moy so much. You can tell Aaron Moy is missed because he was doing the basics, the simple build up tasks so well for them. And now he feels they don't. They don't build up well. They don't look to create chances through open plays, mostly through set plays, crosses, or corners, really. Uh, South Korea though, Jurgen Klinsmann. Is he a tactical nerd? Absolutely not. Is this type of game probably going to be his undoing? Probably, yeah. I think Australia... Graham Arnold will get them into a decent shape. I think it will make life difficult for South Korea. And ask South, South Korea to attack them, which might play into the hands of the uh, Australians. Now, Australia will have been pretty efficient, I think, at taking their chances, to be honest. And that's the one thing I give them credit for. Very efficient. But they don't create that many. So... And that's the thing. South Korea, though, uh, I thought the last 20 minutes they played against Saudi Arabia, probably the best I've seen a top five nation in this Asian Cup. The quality, the amount of chances they created, insane, insane. So, South Korea will always be in the game. I think even if they go 1-0 down in a tie, they will always be in the game. They will always be. I think Australia are a decent team. They can push South Korea. But I don't know why, I think this is going to extra time and penalties. I think South Korea won't have enough. I think Klinsman won't be bold enough to attack for minute one. I think he'll stick with the back three. I think Australia might score first. Then Korea get an equaliser and I think it'll go to extra time and then penalties. But, I think Australia will need to improve their chance creation. They have to create a lot more. And they have to move the ball at a faster pace because the way they move the ball is too slow. It's too pedestrian. And I think that needs to change. Uh, I haven't even seen Suter's long-range passing at his Asian Cup yet, which is a bit disappointing. But I think Australia, look, unbeaten, probably looked the most stable team so far this Asian Cup. If you look at Japan, they lost to Iraq, of course, South Korea, barely, barely, didn't lose to Malaysia and Jordan. And uh, Iran had to go to a penalty shootout last night. So Australia do look the most stable, but I think a bad result is seriously around the corner for Australia. And I think they will probably get eliminated in the core final stage. I think it's going to be 1-1. Goes to penalties. And I think it's going to be Joe again to become the hero for South Korea. And it's going to be South Korea who head into the semi-finals to play one of Tajikistan. Or the team they barely beat, Jordan, in the, in the semi-finals. I think that's going to be the clash. But Australia, they can be Australia. I mean, South Korea, sure. Because I think the defensively... If South Korea do go for it, I think that might leave a lot of space for the Australians. And I don't think Australia, if, if Australia do get a lead, I don't think they'll manage it that badly compared to the Saudi. Saudi just said, 11-0-0, in front of our goal, we're going to put our bodies on the line. That was the idea, and it, it was a horrible idea. And there was overloads all over the park. 
I don't think the Australian team will allow that. I think Australia are much more professional, but I still think South Korea, with the quality they got, I think it's just quality South Korea has got at the moment. I just don't think they'll lose to Australia, personally. I just don't. I don't think they will. And I think they will be heading into the same final. Uh, if, we, if we quickly talk about Saturday's fixtures, so we got J Iran taking on Japan. Massive game, massive game. Japan have to be Iran. Iran, I think... Tarimi's out for that game. Not looking great. I can't lie. Tarimi's a big miss personally. And Kotawa says Uzbekistan. That's the other game. And I think this one's got penalties all over it. But we'll discuss these two in tomorrow's video in a lot more detail. And this was the Asian Cup round the quarterfinals match preview. If you like the video, please do like and share the video. If you like the video in general, please subscribe. Leave me your prediction for tomorrow's matches in the comments. Leave me your opinions about the games in general in the comments. And I hope you guys later for another video.